Today in filmmaking and cinema studies, the term mise-en-scene seems to have become synonymous with the word feel, i.e., what is the feel of the film? But a more effective and true-to-definition way of understanding mise-en-scene is in terms of the frame, i.e., everything that is happening in the frame or in front of the camera, as opposed to behind it or on its sides. The camera itself is not part of the mise-en-scene. It is an apparatus that captures it. Although the operation of the camera itself goes hand-in-hand -hand with the mise-en-scene and will have an impact on it, say a focus pull or a dolly shot, in themselves those are not part of the mise-en-scene. In The Life Aquatic with Steve Zizou, 2004, Wes Anderson uses the camera frame like a canvas. His use of color in the film is exquisite and vibrant, using primary colors, blue, red, and yellow, blacks and whites, and tones, say tans and browns, almost creating an experience of their own, like a less abstracted color field painting might. Anderson's use of color is also complemented by a strong and effective placement of both subjects and objects in the film. Often staging in depth, using wider and longer takes, Anderson creates a sense of harmony and balance in the frame. Particularly, he often breaks the frame into thirds or halves, creating a symmetrical and evenly distributed visual experience that is enjoyable to the audience. Perhaps another way of saying this is that Anderson employs a real sense of framing within the frame. And in fact, quite literally throughout the film, we see frames within the frame. Windows on the boats, monitors, screens, and pictures. To accomplish this compelling visual aesthetic, Anderson uses elaborate set design that is carefully planned and manufactured. And in many ways, the film is grounded in fantasy as opposed to realism. Although the film deals with human beings that operate under normal rules of existence, the rest is pretty fantastic on the spectrum. Zizou is essentially chasing a made-up shark. The time period and geography is a bit unclear. Anderson uses computer-generated images and green screen in the film. The dolphins acting as cameramen, but ultimately directs our attention elsewhere, effectively disarming audience disbelief. Lastly, it would be difficult to discuss the life aquatic with Steve Zizou in any capacity without acknowledging this idea of a film within a film. We see two types of footage representing the two different worlds, and we also see Zizou constantly manufacturing scenes and saying things like, did you get that footage? That was really good. In this regard, Anderson is commenting on and accepting the fact that his films are not based in realism even punning on it and raising very interesting questions about the very nature of cinema. In The Life Aquatic with Steve Zizou, it seems that Wes Anderson is borrowing in some combination from Renoir's Rules of the Game, 1939, and the films of Alfred Hitchcock. In particular, his use of color, framing within the frame, and camera movement.